Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we are looking at another box from Massive Darkness. This is a Heroes and Monsters set. Sorcerers vs. Lord Tusk. It's put out by Cool Mini or Not. came out in 2017, in case you're watching this in the future. Uh, in association with uh, Gu Guillotine Games, Cool Mini or Not does some pretty good stuff. Uh, so far these have been kind of a mixed bag. Uh, it's aimed at ages 14 and up. And as you can see, you're going to get some minis in here, and let's read what it says. Three hero miniatures and cards, including Ajax the Sorcerer, Sarah the Noble Warrior, Silence the Blood Moon Night Runner, uh, plus one Lord Tusk miniature with two cards, one Sorcerer Class Sheet Pad, plus one Artifact Card, the Sorcerer's Ring. So, uh, you do need the core box to play, of course, and these expansions are a cool idea because, um, unfortunately they don't put all the classes in the core box, but they do have these, which give you a new class and a new villain. So you get some new guys to choose from, some new heroes, a new class, and a villain. So let's open this up and see what we've got in here. Now, overall, I'm a little disappointed with the, uh, Massive Darkness game, uh, there's some real frustrating things about this, especially the cards that have been very annoying to me, but uh, the last one of these hero and monster sets we looked at was actually really good, so this might be a little more redemption for them, let's find out. These boxes are made like the old Warhammer 40k ones, so they're not super sturdy. On top here we've got our character pad, and this is um, just for the sorcerer, you've got alchemist skill, signature XP, and then um, explosion escape. And of course we've got the levels here, and notes with the dice. Um, let me zoom in a little bit so you can get a better look at this. Alright, that should be a little bit better. Uh, now, my main complaint about these is that the paper is very, very thin. It's very poorly constructed. Uh, th the fact that it's in color is really nice, but the paper is very thin. It's thinner than your average photocopy paper. And it's held together with really cheap glue. And as we saw in the previous box, the, the pad had stuck to the top of the box. So that tells me how cheap and lazy this is. This is put out by an offset press, uh, probably by some junior graphic designer in China. It's really low end paper. What's, which is sad because it's laid out really well. It's got everything here, it's a color, it's you know decent looking. Um, it's got dumbed down to the levels in different colors, so there's that. But it's just very low end. So I'm really disappointed with these, plus it doesn't say that you have permission to photocopy them for personal use. So they want you to buy more of these pads, which I assume they're going to sell in bulk somehow, but it doesn't say anything about letting you photocopy them. So, and if you even if you did, you'd have to do it in color, so it would cost you a small fortune. So that's pretty irritating. So let's get that out of the way, because that's what really makes me the at most angry and here we've got our cards which we will look at next and then we'll look at the minis so let's take these out and uh, give them a look see you want to be careful when taking anything out of these ziploc type bags because uh, they will scuff the edges very easily and you may have to take them out a couple at a time instead of all at once these bags are a little small quite honestly all right so we'll look at our artifact card first standard looking artifact card this is the sorcerer's ring if any of the heroes skills or attacks wound an enemy inflict one extra wound plus one magic action with magic plus one diamond so that's a pretty good card now we've got our three hero cards here. We'll look at those first. And these are Silence. A shadow mode skill, attack, plus one, reroll, attack, or defense. 
Special skill, Trapper. Enemies in the same zone as Silence get defense minus one shield. Recommended class, Blood Moon Night Runner. Then we've got Sarah. Uh, Shadow mode skill, Sarah gets attack plus one sword per ally in the same zone. Special skill, follow me. Once per activation, when Sarah performs a move action, select another hero in the same zone. Both move to the same zone. Recommended class, Noble Warrior. Then we've got Ajax. Shadow mode skill, attack explosion, roll one. I think that's supposed to be a red die. And inflict wounds to the enemy equal to the number of swords. Special skill, Dark Magic. At the end of the round, Ajax may resurrect a dead hero in the same zone twice per quest. Uh, recommended class, Sorcerer. As usual, it's hard to tell what that dice symbol is. It's illegible. Alright, now we have the two cards for Lord Tusk. Let's start with the lesser roaming monster card. Lord Tusk, roaming monster. Uh, heart times four may perform melee actions at range zero to one at the end of his activation He performs an additional attack against a different hero in range players choose Melee of two yellow one red and defense of three blue Pretty nasty all right Re uh, the greater roaming monster card Heart times eight may perform uh, melee actions at range zero to one at the end of his activation he performs an additional attack against a different hero in range players choose uh, now his melee is two yellow two red and defense of three blue and one green so that's exceptionally nasty all right so he's really tough but that is the cards They look like the characters are pretty good. Again, I'm disappointed that there's a card that is borderline illegible on a key bit of information, but nonetheless. Alright, so here we've got our minis. And of course it's taped. Do 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 do. There's a lot of tape on this. Ah! Foiled by scotch tape. All right. So first up we have Sarah, and that is a pretty cool looking miniature. Uh, this is one of the best ones I've seen, very detailed, the swishing cloak looks really cool. Uh, action pose, I dig it. I like that one a lot, that's really cool looking. And here we have Ajax, again, really cool action pose. Much better than anything that came out of the original box, in my opinion. Uh, so far, these are probably the best looking minis I've seen. Uh, the other supplement box did look really good. So, so far the supplement boxes are better than the core box. And now we've got Whisper. Not quite as much detailing <clears throat> as I would like, but still really well done. I like these figures a lot better. Uh, I think they spent a little more time on these than they did on the core box. And lastly, here we have Lord Tusk. That's his name, right? Yeah, Lord Tusk. Big, hefty mini. Really cool looking. Uh, big, honking meat cleaver thingy here. Really cool. Uh, really nice detail on the muscles. Really scary looking dude. Overall, a great looking miniature for a, a, a very good bad guy. So, these look great. 
Definitely some of the best minis we've seen. And overall, I would say if you're going to play this game, the supplement boxes are really where it's at. You get a lot of extras. You get some new classes. And all around good looking stuff. So I, I recommend this one if you're going to play Massive Darkness, pick this up. Much like the Noble Warriors versus the Cockatrix. The Cockatrice. Um, I don't know why they called it a Cockatrix. It sounds stupid. That's a dumb word. Cockatrice sounds way better and way less raunchy. Uh, I would definitely pick these up. Uh, these are really cool. The minis look great sculpts. Um, overall, I'm real impressed. And yeah, if you're going to get Massive Darkness, these are definitely the way to go. But in the meantime, uh, that'll do it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. Be sure to check out our other videos for uh, Massive Darkness. The links should be in the description if I remember. And uh, be sure and come back and check to see when the next Massive Darkness um, uh, videos come out. Because we've got a couple more to go through. And we've got the, uh, the Kickstarter stuff. But that'll do it for this episode. As always, thank you for watching and supporting the channel. And we hope to see you on the next episode of What's Inside.